of All Black great Sir Colin Meads was farewell today, surrounded by more than 2,000 people in his beloved hometown of Te Kwiti. Pine Tree, as he was known, died last Sunday at the age of 81. Our reporter, Laura Tupo, was there. Sir Colin Meads arrived at the Les Monroe Centre in a 1938 Plymouth hearse with the licence plate Pine T. Hundreds lined the street in silence as the procession through the Tekuiti Township came to an end. Mourners came from far and wide. One grade. This left, morning? Left at six this morning. He used to take us for trainings now and again, yeah. yeah. He used to tell us a few stories. Haingaro, they have plenty, and Des came from Pukehina. So what brought you here today? Um, a photo on the wall at Des's place, because in the photo is Colin and Des's father, who passed away this year as well, and another friend who passed away a few years ago. And, you know, we always looked at this photo, and, and when we'd heard he'd passed, Des said, I always wanted to go to his funeral, so because of his father, and, and so that's why we came. What school are you from? Um, we're from Wellesley in Eastbourne which is back in Wellington. So why did you make that long journey? We came here to, um, to um, Sir Colin Mead's funeral and to give our respects to him. And what do you know about him? <laughs> he was great for history of rugby and he was, he was probably the best rugby player in the world. Pine Tree was carried in by family and friends with a Māori cloak nicknamed the Traveller draped over the front. His wife Verna looked on. His brother Stan Meads spoke, along with Sir Colin's daughter Shelley Mitchell and a heartfelt poem by 12 of his 14 grandchildren. When we were little, kids used to say, oh, your granddad, he's a pretty good fella, eh? And we thought he was, and what kid would not, because he used to give us Nesquik milkshakes a lot. <laughs> nah, that's not what I meant, the kids would say. My dad said he was the greatest back in his day. Down the road at Pine Tree's local Waititi Rugby Club, the mood was sombre. Men in their number ones watched a live stream of the service and two small pine trees stood at the entrance. Tonight, the club will play host to family, friends and fans. Local member George will be serving up cold ones. It's a time to reflect Colin's life and what a tea as a club. He's done a lot for us, so it's, it's good to give back to Colin and his family and um, just to have a beer and tell some stories and, and celebrate his life, really. After sharing Sir Colin with the public, the family are having a private burial at Tikawiti Cemetery. Motihotaka o Tiahiahi, ko Laura Tupo aho.